Hello, this is Steve Powers. The first of the four programs that I have come across that allow you to paint symmetrically or draw symmetrically in this case is Alchemy. Alchemy has far more tools than just allowing us to paint symmetrically. It um, offers two styles of uh, lines. You can change the line weight. You can paint under or over. You can it has uh, full, full colors, 256 anyways. Um, you can change the transparency and um, you can change, you can create with a, f a lot of different um, uh, uh, shapes as you can see here that you have to choose from and different effects as well. What we're looking to do is I'm going to um, pick a line style. I'm going to use line weight and go into the effects and this is mirroring. This allows you to, well, I want to make sure I'm on shapes here. This way that clear is great for. And this is the line that I can use. Hit mirroring. And I can pretty much just doodle around, see what I can come up across. I can uh, change this weight maybe to a 2 or something. And you can see I'm staying on this axis, but if I do want to move that over, I can do this and come in here. Um, this is a great way to do maybe top views of vehicles or front views of uh, characters and see what you can come up with. Um, it's very good just to you know play around with and you can see that I stayed on that axis. Allows you to um, just see what it might look like um, if uh, you didn't have to draw both sides. In this case, um, I don't know about you, but sometimes I may not be able to draw the same thing on both sides. That could be a face, it could be anything right there, it could be just uh, a lot of nothing. Well, this is a program that I do keep around, and I uh, can use this for collages as well as this mirroring tool. Um, it's very lightweight, it works on, um, it actually works on Linux as well as Windows. Primarily the four that I'm covering, uh, especially the commercial ones, will be on uh, Windows. Alright, the second one here is Critter. And, or uh, Critter, I should say. And it's uh, another open source program that uh, also works on Linux. Um, and from what I understand, it works far better on Linux than it does on Windows. This is why I haven't um, played with this that much. It's um, designed primarily as a painting package for the Linux environment. Windows is a secondary operating system that they're looking for and frankly haven't had the, the time to overcome some of the uh, issues uh, with running this program on Windows. Uh, but it's, it's set up like a lot of your, your paint packages where you can, you know, it's got the color wheel what have you. Um, you can pick the soft brush and um, it does have some issues with um, tracking and things like that. This isn't a very large. Um, this isn't a very large document either. I think this is 16 by uh, 1200 pixels um, at a 100 DPI, which really I shouldn't be seeing the lag that I'm seeing. But again, you know they are having issues, so this is uh, definitely uh, a bit buggy. Though um, let's go to the mirroring tool. Alright, the mirroring tool allows you to do uh, to um, horizontally and vertical, and you can see. And it's, it's, it's nice that it actually allows you to do that. And it, it tracks okay. Um, it's nothing great. Um, a lot of the... Um, no, hold on a second. A lot of the uh, features of um, Photoshop are, are similar. You can hold a space bar, move it around, and uh, what have you. Now, if I want to go over there, it'll start doing it. And it splits right down the middle, so you really have some issues uh, with moving it around. Um, but it is uh, nice that you can actually do this. Of course, you could do this um, all on layers if you wanted to. And um, again, it is a free program. Now, Critter, um, I have had issues on some of the other PCs that I couldn't even do this. And I'm looking at the testing the. Uh, my Wacom Tablet 4 works uh, actually quite nicely on this. I've uh, tried 
uh, GIMP in the past and one of the problems I've actually tried it quite a bit um, that is very much like Photoshop except for um, the uh, reliability I mean they're trying to be like Photoshop I should say but so in, in this case um, you can you know scribble around and the paint brushes are um, a lot of what you expect um, you know very uh, quick and fast and I, I just use the basic brushes again uh, another um, I'm not sure what or maybe nothing at all so uh, this is Critter it's uh, definitely a good option um, if um, it, it doesn't act up on you um, but I look for things uh, where I'm not fighting the program a lot and so I can't necessarily recommend Critter but I did want to show it now the first of the commercial products is Corel Panda 12 now this is um, uh, I believe it's probably the best uh, program to use in conjunction with Photoshop Photoshop is what I do all my stuff in and it is uh, definitely industry standard so when I come across a program that I can uh, adjust um, the windows to be just like Photoshop with the same shortcuts as Photoshop um, I don't have to learn another program it's great and the fact that it has a different brush engine and does a great job at reproducing uh, uh, real media then it's um, very nice uh, it, it is uh, I think it uh, runs around four hundred dollars though they do run deals on it um, but if you can afford Photoshop um, or maybe you can't afford Photoshop this would be a, s a good second best at least for illustrators and um, uh, concept artists uh, the the pencils I love the pencils in this uh, this is just some of the stuff I mean uh, this is right out of the box I can put my uh, stylus on its side make it look like a, it make it have the same feel of a, a real pencil I even tip it right up and have that no problem all my Photoshop shortcuts are the same uh, which is very nice um, it's got a, uh, a few other things uh, I'm not going to get into um, because primarily I wanted to show you the mirroring tool in this um, uh, there are a few things that you should know though if you start uh, playing around you can do the trial version of Corel Painter just make sure that um, you understand that the real uh, paint brushes and the wet paint brushes will automatically um, start a, uh, a new uh, layer uh, for that media and if it's in in the real world if you you put down marker you want to paint over marker you can't use a um, a lighter color without it drying or without you applying something to it to go over it so that's the same in painter so you want to if, if, if you're like me and you like the soft brush you put a soft brush down and maybe go to a hard tip to um, to uh, focus uh, on a, uh, a segment of that soft brush in the early stages of creativity uh, you want to find a shape or something in there start with the dry brushes in this case of course pencil is dry so I can you know put it down here say hey I see something in there maybe it's uh, um, what have you and I can just start you know sketching something out here uh, maybe this is the front of something or what have you but in this case um, you, you, you want to make sure it's dry brushes not with with uh, any of the wet brushes unless you can do it in the real world now over here you'll find the mirroring tool and it brings up the palette up top and you can uh, you can move it and you can toggle it on and off so it's on and then it's off of course go back to paint brushes that will uh, uh, separate or turn off rather so I can go in here and um, again just start um, doodling and this is gives me the feel of a pencil it's um pretty uh pretty good on the resources um it doesn't crash much unlike um i was telling you about critter critter did crash on me um before I even uh after i stopped camtasia and that does happen a lot and of course it asks for you to report bug fi fixes or report the bug um issues of course it completely crashed on me so and you can see here i'm just you know just playing around with stuff and um, I, of course then I can go back and I, I can turn it off um, I can select it just like I would in Photoshop and um, whoops and oops move it well, how's this all 
do this. Move back again. I will do this. I will uh, cut and paste and move it over so it's on a separate layer. That's one thing you kind of want to do with it. And um, y you can just keep going back and forth with uh, this and you come up with um, different uh, until you come up with the ones that you really like. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make faces so I'm, I'm that's what I'm kind of going for. Um, put a little goatee or whatever. Don't know. Um, I mean, what's this? A little uh, a jungle creature or something? Don't know. Should he have ears? I don't know. I can back it out though just by hitting the control Z which is nice. You can see if it works or not. Um, this is definitely um, one I that really complements Photoshop. So if you could afford both of them, do so. If you can't afford Photoshop, I would recommend Painter 12. A uh, very good, solid program, and it is a professional tool. A lot of professionals use it. Not as much as Photoshop, but a lot of people use it at least in conjunction with Photoshop. All right, the fourth program that I came across that allows you to uh, paint symmetrically is uh, Sketchbook Pro by Autodesk. Um, this is the Windows version. I believe they have a Linux version. Uh, most of their programs do work uh, on Linux as well as Windows and Macs. Uh, that's one thing that Autodesk has always seemed to do. For whatever reason, uh, Adobe uh, does not support Linux, which is a shame because uh, Photoshop is a great program. And uh, I wouldn't mind using it on Linux or, or Windows. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, unless I do video editing, then I want to be on a Windows system. Okay, um, now I do want to talk. It's, it does more than just mirroring here. We can do um, like a freehand line. We can do uh, what's called a steady stroke. You can see where uh, the lines actually, um, you can see where you start drawing and it will show where you're actually drawing to. You can do straight lines just like a line tool in Photoshop. Do shapes, which is a polygon. This is the polygon tool. And um, you can also do you know your circles you can do your ellipses um, you can also uh, a lot of the pro a lot of the shortcuts in Photoshop do work here that that was control a to select all and control X to erase that uh, rather quickly which is nice because you want to work quickly you don't want to be held up by the program um, one of the co a couple other things that it did have in here that I did want to point out was um, a, uh, a line tool that allows you to um, basically you can rotate it and you can really um, do precise uh, measurements or what have you um, which is nice um, if that's what you want to do and that's uh, I hit the R key for that and also has an ellipse tool which is um, quite nice so you can uh, oops, you can pretty much I mean, you can't can't really screw that up, can you? You bring it up, um, whoops. Bring it in again. Have another ellipse. Um, great for doing wheels or what have you. Um, that's with the E tool. Okay, but uh, the mirror mirror tool is um, you can do an either um, axis or both at the same time. Um, which, by the way, I did mention in Painter 12, you can do that as well. So um, uh, just keep that in mind. So it allows you to, you can see I'm painting in all four quadrants, not just what have you. And maybe you want to come up with some emblems as well. Maybe um, a crest for a shield if you're uh, working on uh, doing knights and things like that. Um, if you want to uh, enlarge uh, th these pucks over here are for um, allowing you to enlarge the different um, tips that you have on your brushes. This one you can really see that's... Um, the airbrush where you can get larger or what have you. I'm going to go back to the pen and you can see you can do a larger pen or what have you. And all I'm doing is dragging by the way. And you can also do um, the uh, bracket keys as well. Um, if you want to change the color it's the same. Not well, not with a pen I guess. You need to do that with a uh, specific brush something that will actually have more color 
this is just a simple paintbrush and you have your markers and what have you um, I like the pencil the pencil's good it's uh, it can be a little bit bigger than that and that will take uh, different colors because you can have colored pencils makes sense um, you want to turn off uh, one you can just do that now it's a uh, very responsive very uh, nice little program um, great for just sketching and for blocking in some ideas and some shapes um, something that um, uh, you could actually I wouldn't do any finished uh, work with it um, I could do finished work and painter but I can't really do it in this as well but um, uh, I don't believe it has any uh, textures as well but I can do text I can do a lot of simple stuff and it's great on the resources and it's um, uh, frankly it's uh, cheap enough too it's fifty nine dollars instead of your four hundred dollars with painter twelve so if this is all you need I'd get this all right well hopefully um, my overview of these four programs and and allow you to pick the right one uh, to help because uh, painting symmetrically allows you to uh, work quickly and um, experiment uh, easier than a, if you were to do this in Photoshop then cut and in uh, mirror you know cut and co or I should say uh, copy and paste and flip uh, so you can see the mirroring effect alright so have a good day thanks